welcome back to Flautas Corner. Today we're gonna make three types of flautas. We have our beef, so you can ask at your local Mexican market for beef to shred. Carne para deshebrar. Chicken flautas that we're gonna make. And we have potato and cheese. We're gonna dump this in here, it's about a pound. We're gonna put a couple bay leaves in there for flavor. Some garlic, a teaspoon of salt, and some water. So now for our chicken flautas, we have garlic, about two whole teeth, cut in half half of a white onion that I'm also going to cut in four. Cilantro for flavor. About a teaspoon of salt. One tomato, cut in four. Our chicken that we're gonna cut so that it cooks a little faster. And the same, we're gonna fill it up to the top so that it covers all of the chicken. And we're gonna set it on the stove. Pepper, our salt, and about three cups of water. We might need six cups of water. We don't need to peel these. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them in four. And I'm gonna use three potatoes, add about a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, and we'll put these on the stove. Six tomatoes to the pot, cloves, whole allspice, oregano, and a bay leaf. We're gonna put about four cups of water in there cut up an onion and add that in there as well. Put that on the stove. And we're gonna cook this until you can start seeing the skin start falling off. For our avocado salsa, we have a chile serrano that we're gonna put in there. A whole avocado. We have three tomatillos, some coriander, about 20 strands, and some leaves of lettuce. About one cup of water, about a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna go ahead and blend that. Take it out and put it in the refrigerator to save for later. We have our avocado salsa. Now that the tomatoes are done, we can go ahead and make the salsa. We won't be blending the onion, so I'm gonna take it out. Put it in the plate. We also won't be blending the bay leaf. We're gonna keep that out. Everything else is gonna go in here and we're gonna blend it. Blend one tomato, that way we get these spices blended. And then we're gonna put the rest of the tomato so they don't get pureed too much. We're gonna peel the skin off. Go ahead and dump that in there. And get those spices blended really good. And we're gonna go ahead and add some of this water in there. Go ahead and put the onions in there. Go 
We're gonna add about a teaspoon of salt and there you have it. We have some salsa for our flautas. Now that the potatoes are done, take them off the stove. I'm gonna go ahead and peel them. Put them in a bowl so that we can smush them. And this is the reason why I didn't peel them earlier. It's because it's way easier to take the peel off now that they're cooked. We're gonna put a tiny little bit of water in there. One cup of cheese, about a tablespoon of salt, and we're gonna smush them. And mix it up. We're gonna put that to the side and heat up our tortillas. Some of these are ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and start rolling. I'm also, while I finish rolling these, gonna start warming up the oil. And wait for that to heat up. So, we're gonna come over here, test out the oil. Once you start seeing those bubbles come up, they're ready. So these are nice and golden brown on both sides. Now that these are ready, you can go ahead and serve them with some lettuce. We have our queso fresco that you can also buy at local Mexican market. Our guacamole salsa. You can top it off with some sour cream potato and cheese flauta. So the chicken's been cooking for about an hour now. It's ready to get shredded. I'm also gonna go ahead and turn off the tortillas that I started pre-warming up. Because it's hot, I'm gonna use two forks. And just start shredding it up. So you know it's done because it's literally falling apart. I'm gonna also start preheating the oil. We're gonna go ahead and turn these around. We're a little extra toasty. One thing I actually forgot to put in there is vinegar when I made the tomato sauce. So we can actually go ahead and put it in now. And we just mix it. Lettuce. Add our queso fresco. tomato salsa. You can top it off with some sour cream. Chicken flautas with a tomato sauce. 
for the beef taquitos, you also do the same thing. You shred the beef, you roll them up, and you fry them up, and then you garnish it with whatever you'd like. You can use the avocado salsa that I made earlier, or you can use the tomato salsa. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I hope you enjoy everything we made today. Bye.